ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் சூப்பர்னா வெல்கம் பேக் டு மை சேனல் சூப்பர்னா ஸ்பீச் தெரப்பி கிளினிக் அண்ட் மை லாஸ்ட் வீடியோ ஐ ஹேட் டிஸ்கஸ்ட் ஆர் ஐ ஹேட் ஷேர்ட் லைக் மை நாலேஜ் ஆன் தி ஆர்டிசம் ஸ்பெக்ட்ரம் டிசார்டர்ஸ் வாட் ஆர் தி ஜென்ரல் கேரக்டரிஸ்டிக் ஃபீச்சர்ஸ் தட் யூ சீன் ஆர்டிசம் ஸ்பெக்ட்ரம் டிசார்டர்ஸ் ஸோ இன் மை லாஸ்ட் வீடியோ ஐ ஹேட் ஆல்ரெடி மென்ஷன் தட் தேர் ஆர் த்ரீ மெயின் ஃபீச்சர்ஸ் பை விச் யூ கேன் டிஸ்டிங்விஷ் ஆர் யூ கேன் ஐடென்டிஃபை ஆர் யூ கேன் டயக்னோஸ் ஆர்டிசம் ஸ்பெக்ட்ரம் டிசார்டர்ஸ் தட் இஸ் லேக் ஆஃப் சோஷியல் இன்ட்ராக்ஷன் லேக் ஆஃப் கம்யூனிகேஷன் அண்ட் ஸ்டீரியோ டிப்பிக் மூமெண்ட்ஸ் ஆர் தி பேட்டர்ன்ஸ் ஆஃப் பிஹேவியர் தட் யூ சி இன் ஏஎஸ்டி so what today what i am going to see is i am going to tell you in detail about the sco- social skills or the social uh, like uh, the deficits that you see in them the communicative deficits you see in them and the patterns of behavior or the what are the differences in patterns of behavior that you see in autism spectrum disorders so first let's see the social skills so basically the children they don't know how to interact like they uh, if if at all they want to interact they don't know how to interact with others that is a basic problem in social interaction that you see in children with asd so basically they don't know to uh, like by first birthday they, do, they don't respond to name call usually by 10 months or 11 months children start responding to their name call but we can find that autism spectrum children with autism spectrum disorders fail to respond to their name call by their first birthday and like they don't know how to like they don't have interest in playing or sharing or talking with other people basically they don't know to play with others they don't know to share with others and they don't know to talk with others and they prefer to be with uh, like aloof or alone in their own world or in they prefer solo play and they avoid or reject physical contact and they avoid eye contact and if they are upset in any case if they are upset they don't like to be consoled or comforted they don't find comfort or console in the presence of another person if they are upset and they don't understand emotions then they don't know their own emotions and they can't express they can understand others emotions also and they may not like uh, stretch their arms to be like picked up by an, an adult or they don't like while walking they, they don't like to be guided by others so we can find that small children they if they want to be carried by adults they stretch out their arms but in asd you don't find that kind of behavior from children from basically from infants babies so these are the social skills or the social deficit that you see in asd so next comes the communication problems or the communicative deficits around 40% of ch- children with asd have problems with communication most of them are seen to be non verbal and it is this is like an approximate uh, statistics not an exact statistics 25 to 30% of children they achieve the language skills but they lose the language skills what they have achieved that is that is you find a regression in the language skills they achieve so it usually it takes place by around 3 years this regression takes place by 3 years or by the age of 18 months so basically the social or the communication skill uh, deficit that you see in them is delayed speech and language skills they have a flat or robotic kind of speech output and they have echolalia that is repeating the phrases or uh, words that they hear so if you ask them what is your name instead of telling what their name is they may say what is your name that is repeating what we say it can be in form of words it can be in form of phrases and next is they have problems with pronouns they have find they find difficult in uh, using the correct pronouns they have pronoun reversals instead of using i they might use you like they have pronoun reversal problems and they like uh, they don't have a like they have inability to start a topic and they don't they find it uh, difficult to maintain a the, that particular topic that is topic initiation and topic maintenance is found to be less in children with asd and they don't understand like jokes or sarcasm or something like that they don't understand the meaning of a joke they don't literally understand a joke or a sarcastic thing so these are the communicative deficit that you see in asd so next comes the patterns of behavior you see an unusual patterns of behavior in asd and first one we can see is repetitive movements repetitive or stereotypic behaviors it can be a hand flapping it can be like jumping it can be like rocking or something like that a repetitive behavior can be seen in asd children and they have a constant like moving pattern they they, they are found to be hyper they have a hyper behavior or a hyper activity and they have very short attention span and but if they are interested if the activities of their interest we can find them having a good attention span and if it's a, an activity directed by others they find it very difficult to maintain an attention span 
they have a uh, like um, have a good attention span and like they have a like specific routines or rituals and i as i already said if we try to change them they find it very difficult and they have extreme sensitivity to light touch and uh, sounds etc that is sensory issues can be seen in them and they like uh, they don't understand like uh, they have fussy eating habits their high eating habits are very bad or poor they have lack of coordination muscle coordination motor coordination and they are found to be very clumsy and they are have having they have an impulsive behavior that is like they act without thinking so that is an impulsive behavior that you can see in asd and they have an aggressive behavior that is they can be like uh, they have a self injurious behavior or they can be they can be aggressive to others also so these are the general patterns of behavior or the differences in patterns of behavior that you see in asd so like these are the general characteristics so suppose uh, like um, if a child if a, if a uh, child has some specific features how can you like how can we identify it like uh, early that is early identification of autism or the red flag indicators of autism or you can uh, uh, mention it as spotting signs and symptoms of autism if suppose a child doesn't smile by 6 months that is lack of social smile by 6 months that is a first indicator second one is the child doesn't understand the facial expressions child fails to imitate the facial expressions by around 9 months and child doesn't coo uh, cooing or babbling is absent by 12 months if the child doesn't produce words by 12 months or 16 months or the, and the child doesn't produce phrases or uh, sentence two word sentences or two word utterances by 24 months and child like uh, doesn't point or that is doesn't use gestures or pointing or waving by 12 months uh, sorry 14 months and if the child doesn't uh, like understand what pretend play is by 14 months uh, by 18 months you can see say that these are the red flag indicators or the spotting signs and symptoms or the identifiable uh, symptoms that can that you can see in asd so these are the general characteristic features uh, like with the divided form like social deficits communicative deficits and the patterns mm -hmm. of behavior so if you want to know anything in detail you can mention in the comment box if you have any queries you can um, post in the comment box or comment in the uh, inbox and if it is any patient related anything you can either mail me or you can inbox me in my facebook page superna speech, speech therapy clinic so please like share and subscribe my channel superna speech therapy clinic thank you